All right, so folks, we're here with the birthday boy, Seth. Yesterday was your birthday, so happy belated birthday. We sang to you yesterday. Yeah. My first serenade yesterday. Right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Seth. Happy birthday to you. There he is. Happy birthday, brother. We've been having a great time, and you guys have got some great prototypes out here on the table. You always come with a ton of knives yeah. and a ton of new offerings uh, every show. So let's go down the line. I picked some out here that we want to show off because um, I also want to say that we've definitely got some uh, new stuff in the works for our store. Yes. We're really excited to be, uh, we've just put in a big order with you guys and uh, actually going to be featuring you guys in, a, in your own specific part of the store. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Really excited about that. and. Uh, Maybe some of these products are going to be coming uh, to us very soon. This one is super sexy right here. This is an in-house design. It's called the Swift Fin. Uh, nice, large, full-size frame lock with some beautiful milling and anodizing. Yeah. On. It's, uh, Swift Fin is a very good name because I, I get very, very much like uh, Caribbean vibes on this. Fishy but, vibes? Yeah, fishy, yeah, yeah, yeah. fishy vibes. Um, but I mean, just beautiful lines on that, super smooth, and oh man, that action is amazing. Got the flipper and got the thumb hole, um, reverse that, flick. You hear that, that ting? ting? Yeah, let me That's see if nice. I can get let me get that up closer to the mic. Wow, it just it rings like a tuning fork right there. 20 CV on the blade steel, and uh, what's that one going to come to market about? Right around 290. Thanks. Nice. So that's titanium on the handles, I'm assuming. Yeah. It's a CPM 20 CD blade still, titanium handle. Awesome. Now, when can we expect to see most of these hitting the market? Most of this stuff will come out within the next six months. So awesome. uh, we have new releases on a monthly schedule. Okay. And so each month you'll see something from this uh, show that comes out. Nice. So this one right here, there's a couple of different versions. There's one that's a very clean, plain version down there in the case. And then there's this version right here that actually has the inserts uh, and it has the flame anode going on. Right, so you got the nice sleek version here. We got this one with the, like you said, with the inserts in there and the flamed anode. It's a little bit dressed up version, um, but it's an integral handle. Yep, Again. so like a whole monolithic design right here. Yeah. It's not two separate sides put together. It's all one piece. That's right. And I, I've tried to explain to people all the time that how much work and how much milling that takes. Um, it, it takes a lot of precision. Yes, it does. It does. One of the things that I love about this knife is the way that uh, thumb stud pairs into and mates up with the handle so it kind of disappears out of your cutting path. Yeah. Yeah. It acts as almost like a stop pin. Stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, it just, yeah, the, the design right there works. So, and that drop shut too. It's so smooth. What? <laughs> that is extremely satisfying. It gives you chills. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and so those are going to come in. Uh, what the price on that's that? That's the Ator. It's going to come in right around three seventy five. Three seventy five. That's fantastic. And this one's actually a little bit less, really. Which is interesting, as uh, it's got the uh, additional um, inlays in there. Right. Um, prices. Yeah. Materials can change. Finishes yeah. everything can change. Right, but, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, the, right now that one uh, is showing up at three sixty six. Now I gotta say this next one right here. This is probably the one I'm most excited about. And this coming out of the Civivi line right here. It is a button lock with the integrated carabiner on the back backside. Uh -huh. uh, aluminum anodized handles. And right here you've got it in green as well as all black right there. Um, it just snaps. Like, a lot of times you get a blade this small, and it ends up being difficult to actuate. Right. But this actually works really well. Nitro-V on the blade steel, um, and coming in right close to 60 $60 bucks. mark, yep. You're right. Um, nice little warm lift blade, a little utility tight. Yeah. 
That's going to be there. a great little work knife. Mm -hmm. And really easy to keep track of with that carabiner. You can clip it onto a belt loop, um, and you're not going to have any problems losing that thing, especially with this bright green. And of course, like you said, materials, colors, all that can change yep. by the time I, it makes it to market. So Likely, it would be released with three or four different colors, different versions right from the start. Nice. That's fantastic. And next up, this one's by a designer that uh, we actually have a really good relationship with and uh, just sold a ton of his uh, Jaegers very recently. Um, and that's Brian Brown. So this is gonna be kind of a production version, very similar to the Jaeger, um, but as Brian put it, without the brick handle. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit more contouring on the handle. Um, gonna have the same like sheep's foot worn clippy type blade there. You'll see Brian Brown's uh, logo right there. This one's called the X1. Yep. And what kind of blade steel are we talking here? We're looking at a Nitro V blade steel on this. Uh, nice hollow ground blade yeah. on that. And I love this kind of modern take on the fuller that he's got on there. It's really, yeah. really sleek looking. And it, 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 it makes it so that you can actually reverse flick it pretty easy too. Yeah. And, you know, that I really like designs that give you multiple ways of opening them like that. Um, really sleek design, and that one's coming in right around the $60 mark. Yes, sir. It is super cool. Now, I got to say, I'm pretty excited about this one, and everybody that's in the knife industry knows of Dutch Bushcraft Knives. Yes. You guys have teamed up with them with this design here. Um, so tell me about this knife. What what's uh, what what's got what we got going on yep. here? This one, well, uh, uh, the obvious first uh, n thing to note is, is the crossbar lock. Yeah. Um, you, you're like uh, you're the first thing you notice is the nail nick. Nail nick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I come from uh, a store that sells so many right? traditionals, right? And I'm not used to seeing a nail nick from uh, we and Civivi. That's that's very, very different. interesting. Very different. But you got to think of I guess uh, international knife laws, and uh, maybe that's come into play with the design here. I don't, I'm not sure, but um, the crossbar lock, that is another thing that's very interesting as well and very smooth. This is a fantastic, uh, again, a sleek, modern EDC style knife, um, the Dutch Bushcraft design here, um, full titanium handle and CPM 20 CV blade steel. And uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a hit. Um, yeah. This uh, this guy, um, I don't have the price right now. It's gonna be somewhere in the 200 to $250 mark. Um, with those materials but um nice and clean yeah i dig that now this one right here has been one that kyle has been playing around with a yeah, lot lately he can't put it down he can't he absolutely loves this thing and with good reason too it's a very interesting design and so you see like this big beefy blade and then it actually narrows down pretty narrow right here so the biggest with the biggest jimping i've ever seen yes on top, yes that's right? I, I mean that's like a, a crater right there just in the back just giving you a lot of grip in that back end this is the blue blue tick blue tick ah uh, okay mm -hmm. like a hound that's, that's that's right out of your neck of the woods absolutely it is so this is the keenison knives uh design right here so this is an exciting new collaboration yeah and i love seeing these custom knife makers getting in on the production knife mm -hmm. side giving people an opportunity to get their designs but at an affordable price exactly it's it's they're really fun projects to work on and yeah you're really excited about it the industry rallies around it and it's fun and that one's coming in under 60 bucks around 50 55 um yeah. blade steel is going to be nitro, uh, 14 c 28 in right yeah that is really cool and super smooth action i dig it i like it a lot now we're getting into some. Some of these will have different color options available. Absolutely. Um, we picked one to show off here. I like this one. This one is super simple. Going to be a great just everyday carry work knife right there. I like a drop point. I also like the compound grind. So you got a nice uh, slicey hollow grind on the back end here. But then you got a little bit more behind that edge mm -hmm. on the front with that yep. black grind. And the button lock, the flipper, and the thumb studs. So that's going to be a super fidgety little work knife right there that's, I can tell you right now, this is going to be a great desk knife for me. Yeah. So that when I'm sitting there editing videos or, or doing stuff at my desk, I'm just going to be sitting there playing with it. And You put a button, a thumb stud, and, and a, a flipper, flipper on one knife, it's a recipe for, for disaster. And right now around <laughs> 60 bucks, that is fan-freaking-tastic. And again, 14C28N, which I... 
I've always felt like it's a very underrated blade steel anyway. So another one from another custom knife yes. maker, Wear Knives. And uh, that is another uh, custom knife maker that we've got uh, a decent amount of experience with. Has a really cool design here. So we're talking G10 on the handles, nice slim profile on the grip, but really nice, almost cleaver style blade there. Um, and really beefy on the blade. Got the thumb hole, but also got the flipper in the back. So again, very fidgety. Mm -hmm. And 14C 28N again. What uh, what kind of price point are we looking at this? We're going to be looking right in this that same sixty dollar price point on this. I don't have the price on this one right now. Right. That's that's where it's going to fall. What's the name of it? We we don't have a name yet. Uh, I don't have a name on that one yet. Okay. Or at least they had. I may have had one, and the tag came off. But everything's so new that right. I, did, I don't recall. Right. Well, and like, like with this one, we might need some help naming this That's one, right. right? That's right. Um, I'm, I like that one. I need you guys to help me name this one because I really like that one. I'm, I'm super excited about that. So we got this Civivi here. We've got, this is another one that needs some help naming. Right. Now, um, this one is based on the really hot selling limited edition we knife the exiton right and it's got almost this frag pattern on is that g10 yeah no F frn F frn, I FRN? Yeah, um FRN. like this frag pattern with this frn back right here and very interesting design so you got the two sides is this aluminum, aluminum. and then the frn right here putting those two together uh thumb studs and flipper with a button lock Again, you guys are making insanely super fidgety knives. That one's coming in with Nitro V. That is sick. Again, in, the, in that $60 range. Yeah. And we've got a couple of different color combinations here to show off. But I dig that. I think that OD green really looks super freaking cool. Compound grind. Now, this one right here, I want you to tell me about this because I don't even know what to think about this. This is... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that frog in my throat right there. This is the new Starfire. Uh, Star Flare. Star Sorry. Flare. Um, it's an in-house okay. design. Nitro V blade still. Um, I don't have a lot of information about what went into the design on this, but obviously the thing that stands out to me is uh the overall shape but that massive pivot collar yeah um, that the pop of color on there um the lines are cool it feels good in your hand um and it kind of continues we've got we've got a lot of warm clips lately uh yes and i love like you said the lines are really cool because you can see the the carryover from this line in the handle all the way into the blade right there and then kind of this arc that just is super smooth all the way across the back. Um, I absolutely love this design. And with Nitro V on the blade steel and having that two-tone blade, I think that is super freaking cool. Now, I know this next one is gonna be uh, one of Isaac's favorites because he loves those ultimate handles. This is the RS-71. Now, this is a play on the SR-71 Blackbird airplane, yep. right? And actually, if you look at this black one down here, you kind of get a really oh uh, heck yeah a, a feel for where that name came from it also is a play on uh the designer robert saniscali g okay e. you got the rs right yep so you got the rs71 RS rather than the sr71 so yeah anyway that is there's the there's, well, we figured that out on the on the naming of this guy but super unique with that dagger style blade one yeah. side is um sharpened thumb studs flipper tab and even like a front flipper thing going on too. Front flipper thing. Over, yeah. Or, or pocket deploy. So if you want to, like, as you pull it out, like that. It takes some intent to do that because right. it's, it's not necessarily hooked. Hooked, but, right. Uh, but you can do that. Um, yeah. It's a nice, nice way to deploy. Yeah. That is super cool right there. And it feels good in, in your hand too. Like this yeah. is a design. Um, when I honestly first saw like photos of it, I wanted to dislike it, but when we got it here at the show and I started holding it and playing with it, I liked it. Yeah, and it's super smooth too. Like it, it, it actually handles like a much smaller knife than what it is. Mm -hmm. Now these next three, 
We've also got in the case in all black versions, but I of course picked out the more colorful and uh, and flashy ones. This one I know is also going to be a favorite of Isaac's because he loves wood handles. Um, but this is coming out of the Sin Cut line, which we're super excited for as well because I think it goes really well with the economy today. There's a lot of people looking for good quality knives at a very budget friendly price, and you guys are offering that as well, if not better than anybody else in the market. And for this one, we're talking, is that 9CR? Yeah, 9CR, 9CR 18 MOV, um, stainless steel liners, and what it, wood handles, that is gorgeous. Yeah, what you're looking at in the Senkut line is basically just a, a carryover from Civivi down at that uh, most budget-friendly side of it. Yeah. So they're very, very similar to Civivi. They're made in the same factory, right. um, by the same people and all that, same quality control standards. That, that drop I tell you what, shot. there's there, there's no business for a forty five dollar knife having a drop shot action yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, Let's do that one more time. That, that's <laughs> that's insane. It's good stuff, and it hits that um, that sweet spot in the entry level uh, knife world of uh, you know thirty to fifty dollar price. Yeah, point. absolutely. And then this one right here, what is it? This one's called the Omniform. What have we got going on here? Also nine CR eighteen MOV, same. Uh, basic characteristics and features of uh, the previous knife, but, but larger. This is a big boy right here. Nice big flat grind blade from the edge all the way to the spine. Oh, super mm. smooth. I wonder if I can reverse flick that. Yep, absolutely. Take a little bit of risk to go in there with that. And uh, that one's coming in at 40 bucks. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. And then we've got this one here. Uh, this one doesn't have a name yet, so we haven't named this baby. Um, so help us name these babies. Um, so this one's coming in with micarta again. Like I said, we've got an all black G10 version down here as well, but right at 40 bucks. What, what what's going on with this? This is this is insane. I, it, it really is. The stuff that's uh, coming out in that forty dollar price point is phenomenal. Um, and nine CR eighteen MOV blades still micarta handles. Um, ceramic ball bearings in the in the liner and the pivot, um, just uh, just fantastic. Did you see that? What's it? That's that is insane. Super smooth and really like no blade play whatsoever. That is fantastic. I'm super excited. I'm really excited for our new section of the store, Seth. Me too. And really excited to get you down there to the store help out with some of our employees as well because we're going to have a blast with this and i'm i'm really excited looking forward at our our uh, company's relationship so it's gonna be Seth, fantastic man thank you thank you and uh stay tuned folks because we're going to be showing you our brand new section of we civilian and Sencut in our store very soon <laughs>